Hi, this is Aurora from SuperchargedMath.com. Now, if you're having a hard time with math, you're in the right place because this is where we take the challenging um, math concepts and we make them easy. So if you want to learn math the easy way, just visit SuperchargedMath.com. Okay, let's get started. All right, so compound interest is a little bit different. Okay. And this is really good for long-term investments. This means, say for example, um, this is where your interest earns interest. Okay, now what does that mean? So say for example that you invested, if we have $100 in the bank, okay? We put $100 in the bank and then we put it in there and it has a 10% interest rate, okay? And we're gonna call it an annual interest rate. Annual, annual means yearly interest. Rate. Okay. At the end of one year, you will have $100 plus whatever you got in interest. You got 10%. 10% of 100 is $10. So at the end of the year, you'll have that much in your bank. Good so far? Okay. Next year rolls around. How much do you have in your bank? Not 100, but the bank gave you $10 for keeping your money with them. You now have $110, right? What happens? Well, after 12 more months, so one year goes by, again, now how much do you have? Okay, so we have, it's still at 10%. So we have 110 plus $11. So we have $121 in our bank account. Because we earn 10%, not on the 100, but on this one. This one has this in it and the interest put together. And now we're gonna take that and get interest on that. And now, do you see how it's starting to grow? This is different than what we did before with simple interest. So now what do we do? Okay, so now we have $121. Okay, another year goes by at 10%. Okay, now what do we have? We have what we had before, 121, and we have 10% of that. So plus $12.10. So now we have $133, and did I add that right, and 10 cents? Do you see how it's starting to grow? It's not just this, but it's the principal and the interest together. Oh, let's earn interest on that. Okay, now let's put that in here and earn more interest on that. And this is called compound interest. Give me a smile if it's, even if you can't do the, um, the, the calculations yet, if you're understanding the concept of how interest is earning interest for you. Give me a little smile, yeah? Okay, this is powerful stuff because the longer you leave it in, the quicker it grows and then over time, it grows like grass and then when you're not looking, it accelerates. Okay, and that's what we're gonna talk about here in this class. Okay, so let's talk about comparing interest rates. I'm gonna say, would you rather deposit 1200 in a bank that has simple interest of 4% for 12 years or a compound interest of 3% for eight years. So I'm gonna show, I know I haven't showed you how to do compound interest calculations, I will. Okay, so let's do the simple interest because we know how to do that. Okay, simple interest is um, going to be, the amount is going to be the initial amount, which is your principal, plus your interest. And I'll just write the, the amount for the interest here so we can just do the calculation together. Okay, so what do we have? The amount I will have is, at the end of 12 years, is how much I put in initially, so $1,200, plus how much I put in initially, this is the interest calculation part now, this is I, okay? Times the rate expressed as a decimal, times the time in years. Okay, so this is how much I have, plus the interest I'll earn on it. So let's calculate this out. So if I multiply these numbers together, I have a calculator, I have 1200 times 0.04 times 12. So I will earn $576 in interest, and that's in addition to the 1200 I put in there to begin with. So then I'll add these two numbers together, we can do this in our head. So this is going to be, because um, 12 plus five is uh, 17, $1,776. That's how much I have for simple interest. 
All right, so that's how much I would have. And what did I do to earn that extra $576? I did nothing. I just stuck it in the bank and forgot about it. Remember the coffee can under my bed that I would forget about? It wasn't earning money for me, but the bank does, right? Because the bank wants me to put money in there. It wants to have money so it can loan it to other people so it can make money, right? Compound interest calculation for the same thing. I'll rewrite it here so it's all on the same page. Okay. Compound interest, we said it was $1,200 at 3% for eight years. So we're gonna put it in that bank account where the interest earns interest, okay? But notice this is lower. 3% is less than the 4%, isn't it? Okay, it's lower and it's shorter. Okay, let's see if it's a good deal or not. The equation's a little bit different, so if you have your calculator, grab it because I'm gonna show you how to do this on your calculator. Okay, so the amount is A, P is the principal, that's this one. So we put in 1,200, okay? And then we say one plus R. R is the rate, but it's gotta be a decimal, so 0 0.03, and T is time. All right, this is the one that's a little strange. So that's an exponent. So how we do this on your calculator is we go like this. So grab your calculator, and we're gonna say, we're gonna do the parentheses first. One plus 0.03, you should have 1.03, okay? Now I want you to hit the button that either looks like this Y with a little tiny X on it, sometimes it'll say EXP on your calculator for exponent, or it'll be the caret symbol, like that. Okay, it'll be something like that. So we wanna multiply this number by itself eight times. And the calculator will do it for us. I'll push that exponent and then eight, and I get a number. You should get 1.26677. That's how you know you hit the right button. Okay, so this part here is 1.26677 onwards. And if your calculator doesn't have that, you'll have to use the internet to help you find the exponent. But for now, just use my calculator. Um, but this was one of the requirements for this percent class that you have this button on your calculator. Okay, so I'm gonna multiply this number by 1200. Okay, so just take your calculator, leave the number in there, and just say times 1200. So what do you read? I have $1,520. Okay, we'll just leave off the cents for now. $1,520. Okay, so which one is a better deal? Okay, so I have 1520 and I have 1776. So in this case, for this percent and this amount of time, this one is the better deal, okay? Doesn't mean that compound interest isn't a great deal, it just means for this rate and for that amount of time, simple interest is gonna earn you about $250 more. And by doing what? By simply putting it in a different bank account. <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay, let's do another example, because I know this, is, um, this might be new for a lot of you. And let's see, yeah, we're doing good on time. Okay, say you deposit more money. Suppose you put a $2,000 deposit, okay? And simple interest is 5% for five years. Compound interest account is six and a quarter percent, I'll show you what to do with that, for four years. Which one's better? Okay, simple interest first, okay? So I'm gonna have my amount is equal to how much I put in plus the interest. Okay. And then I'm going to say, what's my principal? Who can tell me what the principal is? Shout it out. Yeah, it's the, the amount I put in. Good, $2,000, good. So I get that back plus some interest. So P is the principal, so write it again, R, always has to be in decimal form, and T is time. Okay, so we're gonna grab our calculator. So 2,000 times 0 0.05 times five. So in interest, I get $500. And this is added to how much I put in in the first place. So I will put $2,000 in, and in five years, I, they will, 
have in my bank account for me? 2,500. For doing what? <laughs> Nothing, just leaving it with them. And so what we're doing is we're saying, why don't you take my 2,000, and by the way, I need it back. And so, and I need it back in five years. And they're like, great, no problem. And they say, you know what? I will, interest is the cost of borrowing money. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> sorry about that, thanks for telling me. So this $500 is how much they're paying you for the privilege of using your 2,000. Okay, so let's do compound interest. Okay, so compound interest is gonna be a different formula. Okay, the amount is gonna be equal to how much you give them initially, and then this funny equation. So let's do this together. How much did we give them? 2,000 or, two, or 2,500, how much did we give them? Yeah, 2,000, okay, so that goes in there. All right, so 2,000. All right, one plus, what's the rate? Let's go back up to the top, six and a quarter. So that is 6.25%. To go from a percent to a number, we're going to divide by 100. So that becomes 0 0.0625. Okay, this is six and a quarter. We just put 6.25 and we just divide by 100. And that gives us our rate. And then as an exponent, we have a four.